Welcome to the chaos that is currently plaguing my life. So I leave for France tomorrow. I'm really excited, a little anxious, but for the most part, I'm I'm ready to get out there. It's you know, it's time. Finally, my visa ended up coming in and my team was able to book my flights. So tomorrow, August, what's tomorrow? The 21st? So tomorrow, August 21st, I will be flying out to my new home. You know, I'm spending my rookie season over there, so it's gonna come with a lot of ups, a lot of downs, you know, everything in between, but I'm really, really excited to finally get over there and move in, meet my team, live with Courtney. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna meet Courtney. She'll be in a lot of my videos, probably all of them, I'm sure. She's amazing. We've known each other since we were little kids through USA Volleyball and then playing in the Pac-12 against each other so many years later and we're teammates, we're living together. So it looks really, really, it seriously, it looks really crazy. My dad came up earlier, was like, are you even gonna be ready to leave by tomorrow at 10 a.m.? I was like, yes, yes, I'm going to, don't worry. This is organized chaos. It's just one of those things. Like this is how my brain works. I've got my stuff that I'm taking, like my athletic stuff is in a tub and then just, it goes on. I, I know where it all is. And all my volleyball stuff all together. Plane number one. You look nice. Okay. You're welcome. All right, Squirt. Good luck. Bye. Love you too. Have fun. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Keep, us, keep in touch before you're out, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is really like a good There's my plane. So I'm boarding my second flight of the day. I'm up in New York right now. This flight goes to Copenhagen and then from there I fly to Luxembourg and I get picked up and I get to go to my new home. I think my flight is about six and a half hours. Hi. Howie, come here. Come here, Howie. Some time ago, we were told that we should be on our way in about 10 15 minutes' time. Oh. But uh, the latest information we got from ground control is that they don't know anything. Uh, so that means that I don't really know anything either. We're just uh, hoping that we can, we'll be able to get out of here in 
Yeah, yeah pretty soon. Oh my goodness. We were just informed that the sector we are going to fly in is still closed. Uh, I'm very sorry about this. Uh, I'm sure you're annoyed, so are we. But uh, we can't do anything about it. It's uh, the ATC uh, here in uh, North and Eastern US that's uh, restricting us. Sorry about that. So it's still closed? Yes, I guess it's a route into COVID. So we're two and a half hours in and we've gone nowhere. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not making my connection. There's no way. They'll find another one. Yeah. The well, is fast and your seat back is in upright position and we come through the cabin and check the the situation of the cabin and then we will be ready for takeoff. So we're supposed to leave at 5.35? It is now 8.15 and they told us to take our seats, so I guess that means we're going. About dang time. Already missed my connection, but one step closer. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> all three of us are having to get on different flights. We all missed ours. Um, and then you will go from Copenhagen to Frankfurt and Frankfurt to Luxembourg. So at 1315. 1315. Okay, what time is it right now? Uh, it's 10.17. 10.17? 10, okay. So here to Frankfurt and then from Frankfurt. Okay. Awesome. Just one minute. Alright, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. You just set it up like this and then you go. So then it's... That's cool. <laughs> this is now flight three yeah. of four. I'm with Robert still. Say hello. Hello. We sat with each other on our way to Copenhagen and we both missed our connection. So now we're flying to Frankfurt to get to France. Interesting. Frau Stamatia Mamo Georgi wird zur Information gebeten. Potential Please Paging Lust. flight of four. My next one leaves in about an hour and a half. Let's see what time it is back home. It's 9.10 back in Dallas, which means I've been up for over 24 hours now. I've tried sleeping on these planes and it just has not worked, so 
I'm absolutely dragging. One more flight to Luxembourg, then I get picked up from there, and we drive to the city that I will be living in. I didn't sleep on the first flight that we had, the longest, or my second, I didn't sleep on my second flight, which was my long one, from New York to Copenhagen. I didn't sleep on that at all. I thought I was going to, and I didn't. I just watched movies the whole time, and that was the one I should have slept on. And now I'm at the point where it's daytime over here, so I need to stay awake so that I go to sleep tonight. So I'm absolutely dragging right now because I completely messed that up. I look so tired. The other two people that also missed their connections that were sitting right by me on my Copenhagen flight have since, we've since dispersed from each other, but it was good to have company. We went and found the transfer center. And then we went and just sat at a little coffee spot in the airport, I'm trying to think of whether or not there's anything else. You know, someday my face is gonna be as naturally tanned as my body. It'll be great. I was wearing makeup. Um, I'll do that. I'll show you guys what I've carried with me. That have been little lifesavers that really anybody should just take with them. Whether you are going domestic or international, because you never know, you could end up like me where or all of a sudden a two and a half hour delay has set you back a lot. But a little bag that I just kind of put together and keep with me. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything big, it's like the size of my hand. <coughs> oh, so I have, okay, so I have my giant deodorant with me. I keep a tiny little one. I mean, seriously, this is my hand. This is how big it is, it's so cute. I keep this one now in my backpack, now that I've gotten it. They. They sold them at Target. They had a bunch of different um, scents and things, and I got the cucumber and mint. I used one earlier on my face, but the little Neutrogena single wipes, those are definitely a game changer because I wore makeup to the airport for the first couple of legs. Originally, I'd planned to go to the bathroom for my third flight, wash my face and everything, but then with how everything just got, jumbled up i just waited until now so i just did that earlier after using one of these the neutrogena one i went back in i have these 365 everyday value micellar water cleansing towelettes i actually forgot my travel face wash so i went back over my face with these and my skin feels my skin feels good i like them Lastly, of course, I feel like everybody should do this, whether or not you're... This is the last aufruf for your Lufthansa Star Alliance Flug L. Okay, I think she's done. What I was going to say is I feel like this is something everybody should take with them, regardless of whether or not you're going on one flight or you're going on four, <laughs> is your toothbrush or just a toothbrush that you don't really care to keep anymore, like this one. This is the one I've been using for the last couple of months, and so I have a new one for when I get to my new place in France, but this was the one I just carried with me because I'm just gonna throw it away. And then a small little tube of toothpaste. And then other than that... Achtung bitte, Herr Martin Wiedemann, gebucht nach Warschau. Martin Wiedemann, bitte. And then... Um, then finally, little hair ties, whatever kind is used. I like these, but then I also still, you know, gravitate towards just the OG ponytail holder. It's really not that good for you, but it holds my hair in place. So that's about it for my little pouch. I feel like I'm catching a second wind now that I'm just talking. I cannot wait to get there. I'm excited to see Courtney. I haven't seen her in a hot minute. This will be nice because we're roommates. Eee! She's got fuzzy slippers. I've got fuzzy slippers. It's going to be great. Yeah, the English. Oh, English. English. So you reach it to the loading stuff in front of the aircraft. You get it back in front of the aircraft. 
If there are any of those devices inside, please take them out. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, it really is like a clown threw up on my bed. Oh my goodness. So, uh, stay tuned to figure out how I feng shui this thing. Mine's already been feng shui. Yours, you've got like the whole wood, the wood and white vibe going. Mine, <laughs> mine is a disco ball. Oh my gosh. We'll figure it out. For sure, man, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get chairs to put out here. I'll be just walking in your room all the time to come hang out with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Day one. <laughs> Day one, things are going great. The room's been feng shui yeah, sort of. Yeah, way better though. camera ended up just dying while I was trying to finish the end of that little outro say goodbye to you guys but just last thing I wanted to leave you with if you like this video if you like the videos on my channel and you want to see more of what it's like of what my life is like living over here in France because that's what it's gonna be for the next nine months or so um, please yeah go ahead and subscribe it mean a lot to me yeah, this is this is an exciting new adventure. I have no idea what to expect. I'm still trying to process the fact that I'm in France right now. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, this is just just really really cool. That's really it from my end. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.